guys, it's Katie with FDC, and today I'm going to show you how to make these doily domes. These are perfect cake covers if you are having dessert at a fancy event and just want to spruce up your table a bit. Um, they also double as bowls if you flip it upside down and you can serve candies in them um, or whatever you'd like. So today I'm going to show you two methods how to make this project. What you're going to need for the first is you're going to need a serving bowl um, that you don't care too much about. I'm using a metal one because they clean up again nicely that I have and I have it set aside for crafts. You're going to need some fabric siphoner, a sponge brush, and a large doily. For the second method, you're going to need fabric stiffener, a large doily, a foam brush, and a large balloon. And I used the largest balloon I could find. It blew up to about two and a half to three feet. So once you get all of your materials together, let's go ahead and get started. So there are a few different ways to make your doily covering. The first way I'm going to show you is on this bowl. So you're going to start by pouring a bit of your fabric stiffener into just a little paint palette like I have here. And then you're going to lay your doily on top of your bowl. And now you're going to want to use a bowl that you don't care too much about because some of the fabric stiffener might not come off as well as you'd like it to. So this one I use for craft projects. And you're just going to lay it on the top with the doily centered. And then you're going to take your fabric stiffener and apply it directly to your doily. And I like to use a foam brush because it soaks up a lot of the fabric stiffener and then you just pat it on. And it kind of oozes out and it'll hold that in place nicely. So I'm just going to do this around the entire doily until the whole thing is wet and pushed firmly down. It should lay flat, completely flat, on your bowl. So now that I have fabric stiffener um, on this whole entire doily, what you want to do is you want to take it and pull the edges down and stretch it out and really make sure that all of the pieces are laying flat against your bowl. Just like that, because this is going to be the shape that it stays in once it's hardened and dry. So there we go. And once that's done, we're going to set it aside um, until it is hardened, which is about 24 hours. I'll show you what that looks like when it's ready to go. So now I'm going to show you the balloon method of making your doily cake covering. Um, I just purchased the largest balloon I could find and filled it with air. And you're going to take your doily, and it needs to be a large doily to do this, and lay it on the top. And the center of your doily should have a small hole in it. And you'll want to poke the top of the balloon through that hole. So just kind of feed it through. And this is going to allow your doily to sit flush against the top of your balloon. Okay. Now I'm going to spread it out as even as I can, just like that. When you do this project with a balloon, you can go ahead and apply the fabric stiffener directly to the balloon. So I'm just gonna take this and pour it on, just like so. And now I'm gonna use my foam brush to just kind of pat it down in place and secure it to the balloon. And I'm gonna work my way out slowly, one section at a time, just applying that fabric stiffener really generously because I want it to hold its shape really well. And patting that down. And I'm just gonna continue doing this until the entire doily is covered with fabric stiffener. So now that I have this on, um, fabric stiffener on it all the way around, I'm going to go ahead and use my hands and just flatten it out and pull down the sides. And this is going to just give it a little bit of extra length and make sure none of the fabric is bunching together. So after you're done with that, you can set it in a place where the balloon will remain upright for about 24 hours until it is completely dry and then I will show you the final step. So now I've left both of my doily cake covers to sit overnight and dry. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to peel them off now. So on the bowl, it just takes some light pressure and you're just gonna peel it up 
and it should just come right off. And there is your smaller cake covering. So for the balloon, there's two ways to do this. You can either use your pair of scissors to pop it or you can try to peel it up. So the first choice is peeling it up. Um, it may pop in the process, but if you can peel it off without popping the balloon, you won't have to worry about your cake cover shrinking away because sometimes when the balloon pops, it pulls the doily with it. So first I'm gonna try to do this. Very gently sliding it under. And there we go. There is our finished larger doily cake cover. So as you can see, this project is a lot of fun. You can do it with different shapes and sizes and colors of doilies, and they're really fun ways to display your dessert. Anyways, I hope you guys have a lot of fun with these two new techniques. Thanks for watching.